I've got two announcements I've been t asked to make. My name, uh, well, first of all, I'm, I'm Don Hamilton. I'm the treasurer of uh, the Rural Board this year and also chairman of the Buildings and Grounds Committee. Maintenance has a real problem. Please, when you put your trash down the chute, put everything in a bag. <laughs> there's, there's been no newspapers put down uh, without bag, not being bagged, garbage and so on. Please put your trash in a bag when it goes down the, the garbage chute. And this is true for both the South Building and the North Building. And tie it. Yeah. And tie it. And tie it. Which will help keep the trash in the cart and getting to the uh, dumpsters where they will be uh, taken care of. Second thing. Tomorrow afternoon, 2.30, they're going to have the get you know your directors, no, no RO. And that's a, a great opportunity for the new people as well as those that are seasoned residents to get to know the uh, directors of the uh, various operations here at Regency Oaks. Very, very informative time. Come, you can spend a little time, you can bring your problems, you can talk to them about anything. They're glad to hear you. Okay, and I'm going to introduce uh, Betsy. Thank you, Don. I had Leslie here to introduce the In the Know with RO, too, so I guess, Leslie, you can go home. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking about that. Um, so next, I do have Darwin is going to give us a little bit of a construction update. Darwin? Good morning. Good morning. Alright, uh, here's an update on the construction on the town hall. Uh, this week, they're going to be working on installing three bars and pounding the footers. Also, they're going to be installing the sanit sanitary men holes. Can you hear you? Can you hear you? Uh, yes. All right, uh, I'm going to start again. They're going to be working on uh, the rebarks and pounding the footers on the new construction and also installing the sanitary main holes and sanitary waste lines and digging for the new storm drains. That's what's going on this week in the town hall construction. Thank you. Yeah, that's why the, the, that's on the pounding the, the footers. That's what it is. Yes, ma'am. And all the we, I got that email and then we're working on it. Thank all right, you will. And then just so everybody can hear, Margaret asked about if we can have the clocks changed in all the common areas. So he is working on that. Yes, over here. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you. All right, so a couple things that I wanted to talk to everybody about today is um, the first one is that we came up with a new um, impairment sticker. So what it is, is it's a little sticker that you can put on your name tag. I've uh, got a couple that I can show you to demonstrate. And it is a symbol for either hearing impaired or vision impaired. So what this means to you guys is if you want one of those little stickers to put on your name tag, it will signal to those of us that work here that you have either vision impairment or a hearing impairment. It also will help your neighbors and friends know as well so that we can better assist you. Um, when I see someone that has like maybe the, the vision impairment, it could help us maybe in the dining room with talking to them about the menu options versus expecting them to read the menu options. Um, with the hearing impairment, I know I need to slow down, talk up, um, because they may be um, reading lips too. So it just helps us better help you if you would like that. It is not mandatory, you do not have to do it. It is just something that if you want people to know you need that assistance, you can ask for the stickers at the front desk. Both north and south desk will have it. And it helps too, Betsy, if you wear your name tag. And it does help if you wear your name tag, yes. <laughs> so it encourages everybody to wear their name tag. Oops. What um, they look like? Here. What do they, no, I mean just say so people would know. It's just like a little um, ear or eye symbol with a line through it. So I will put a sample of it in the Tuesday Talk flyer, so when you guys get your Tuesday Talk, you'll see what the symbol looks like. Um, it's just the little symbol with like a, one single line that goes through it. So 
And like I said, I've got some demonstration badges if anybody wants to see what it will look like on their badge. Put it in the oaks also there. In the oaks. Johanna, <laughs> okay, I'll email it to you. <laughs> Perfect. And then next thing that I wanted to discuss is our storage lockers. So it is more of an issue in our south building. Um, what I've learned is when they built this building, they did not put enough storage lockers in for each apartment to have one storage locker. So there are not enough for everybody to have one. So what I'm asking is if anybody has more than one, if they would um, be able to give it up or donate it um, back to the community. So we have these new residents that are moving in and trying to downsize, they are needing some storage units. Um, the other thing is we do have some lockers that are empty that someone has a lock on it and it's not identified. So we will give everybody to the end of the month to either come forward and tell us that that is your locker and that you have an intended purpose for that locker or we will be cutting the lock off because it is empty. So you have till the end of the month to say it's my locker if you want to keep it. Any questions about that? <laughs> Um, next is that I just want to give an update on our um, Save the Children. That's at this point we are 15% to our goal. The goal was to raise $15,000. So far we have raised $2,325. So um, I was able to go on the website and work with them to change the link so it will be easier for everybody to find. Um, it is now going to be savethechildren.org and then it's something like Regency Oaks Helps. So I will update the new link on our next Tuesday talk flyer as well and um, pass it to Joanna. <laughs> She's able to squeeze the room in the oaks. I know it's getting bigger and bigger every day. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I wanted to do is pass the microphone to Johnny. He is going to give us an update on what's happening in dining services. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. Thank you. Thank you. So I just uh, was a little late today because uh, we had a marketing table upstairs in the uh, North Private Dining Room. And it, it, it's, it, it's troubling, you know, with all, everything that's happened with COVID and, and our community and how things had to be shut down and, and everything that's going on. And it's very difficult for me to uh, be able to tell these people what an absolute, how many things we have going on when really not much was. And so it kind of... It kind of takes away that, that, that funness and that excitement and the energy that I get. So today I was uh, really excited. Uh, I didn't tell them that, but I want to tell you this, that on Tuesday the 22nd, which is a week from today, both the North and the South Dining Room are going to be open for full service. The buffets are going away. Yay! So I, I know a lot of you do like the buffet. I know, I, I, you know, I've spoken to quite a few of you. But you need to have the service that you deserve. And it broke my heart all these past two years to see how kind and understanding and supportive you've been through this, knowing the challenges that we've had to keep the food as hot as we could and, and, and as fresh as possible. And you're going to see one heck of a difference coming up. In addition to that, we're also oh, two weeks from today, on Tuesday, two weeks from today, the tavern will be open for dinner, full service as well. What I do want to make very clear, though, is that these are new services. This is all new experiences. So we are going to start a reservation. Okay? You will reserve your table because if we don't, at 5 o'clock, we'll have 100 people down there and there will be no servers. And it's not because you folks are any kind of rude or demanding or anything. It's just overwhelming when these kids see it. So we're going to roll this out. We're going to make sure that these kids know exactly what's going on, who you are. And if you're wearing your name tag, it's going to make things so much easier for me as well, because there's a lot of new residents. I don't know your names. I haven't met you formally. So, you know, I just want to make sure you all understand that, you know, this food program, which we are number one in the United States, I was told recently, <laughs> which we're really proud of, is going to continue to get better. From this point, the breezeways will be opening. We just got to look at the dates, the weather, and so on and so forth. And then the pizza oven and, you know, gourmet has been going absolutely fabulous. We have one tomorrow. The fish came in today. Um, I hope you all just enjoy everything that we're doing. Yes, Joanna. Make sure they know reservations is just the tavern. Just the tavern, yes. Not the yes, no, it's just the tavern. That's it. And uh, we'll, we'll give you all the information that you're going to need. Well, it's okay. I'll come back. <laughs> 
we'll give you all the information that you're going to need um, so that you can um, reserve your table, make sure that you have a spot and that you're going to have a wonderful meal. You won't be rushed out and you're going to have a great dining experience and it's going to continue only to get better. The kids that we have are trained. They're fabulous. I don't think we've had a better crew in the front of the house and definitely not in the back of the house. Um, I have a dishwasher that's been with us for about a year and a half. And a year and a half ago, he went on the line and was helping doing stuff. And I kept saying to him, Ferdy, you, you got to get back in the dish room. Uh, but he said, Jeff, look, my dish room's clean. I just want to help the guys are busy. All right. And he did this like five times. After that, I said, anybody that has that kind of drive to want to cook, I'm going to put him. So I took him out of the dish room. This is a God's honest truth now. I took him out of the dish room a year and a half ago. I just promoted him to my lead cook. Wow. Wow. He's a lead cook, and let me tell you something. He runs circles around people. I'm scared for my job, to be honest with you, because for anybody to come that far that fast, it scares the bejesus out of me. But not only that, the guy's motivated. He's, I think, 24 years old. He has a child. He has a family, and he's so desperate to succeed. Um, he is on a probationary period because I want to make sure that you know he's going to be consistent, which he's, he is. Uh, but the other thing is he came to me with paperwork and I said, well, what is this? He said, um, I think this is where I can get some money for my school. And he was talking about the, um, the scholarship fund. And he's already filled out the paperwork. I've already spoke to um, a few people about it. So he's going to be going to P-TECH. He took it upon himself. He's going to be going to class for school and he's going to be working here. And I'm very proud of him. But don't say anything because none of the other cooks already know. I, I haven't told anybody yet because he's stepping over uh, some people have been here quite a while but he's really shining so his name? his name is Ferdinand Santiago he's from Puerto Rico and uh, we call him Ferdy and you will see him he's about this big he wears an extra small jacket and it's it swims on him so we'll be bringing him I'll be bringing him around the dining room he'll have a hat on with me and I'll introduce him to you you're gonna know who Ferdy is all right folks Yes. He's in North, but he's going to be going North and South. He's going to be in both dining rooms. He's going to be all over the place. As a lead cook, he's not going to be hands-on cooking as much. He's going to be learning a lot of other aspects of it, the ordering and how we do things. So he can understand about food control, food quality, and, and making sure we're getting the most out of you know every bit of food so we're not overspending. That's our best news, folks. I hope. Huh? Have a wonderful day. Thank you very much.